Yes, my Gs. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mamba FPV, and today I'm going to be doing something that's been exciting me for the last few weeks. Now, if you follow me over on Instagram, you'll see that I've been showing off a new toy that I've recently received. Now, ugh, man. I don't even know where to start with this thing, um, but I'll start with the company. So it's a company called It's FPV, and it's been started by two really well-known pilots, which I'm sure need no introduction to anyone out there in the FPV community. It's Ken FPV and Dodd FPV, two amazing pilots that I've been following for such a long time, and I'm pretty sure that all of you guys that are watching this um, are really excited to see the review, the honest review of the era five inch drone now these two guys have been working on the designs for this quad for the last year and a half um so i'm really do believe in this quad i've had a little look at it um but i'm not gonna force any opinions i'm gonna tell you my opinion uh, i'm not affiliated with its fpv in any way shape or form i bought this drone with my own hard-earned cash and i have got to tell you I've never been so excited to build a frame in my life. So if you're interested in what the ERA 5-inch quad is all about, stay with me because we're going to get building it. So let's go. All right, so here we go. What is in the box? But firstly, let's have a look at the box because the package in itself is really nice. You can pause the screen right there and have a read if you want. That's got all the specifications and everything that comes in the box. And here is a serving suggestion. I think this is the setup that Ken and Dodd would put on their quads, which is pretty cool. I love how the Germans have so much attention to detail. So we have two straps, which are really well made. And I believe there is a mixture of Kevlar and rubber on these straps. Metal buckles as well which is always a bonus. Free arm, uh, you get a free arm with every order on the first batch only. And the bag of hardware. So we have the frame hardware. We have the camera and VTX hardware. We have a little baggie with some spare parts, which looks like one of each item, which is brilliant. We have the rear antenna mount. I believe these two little pieces here, not that one, these two pieces are to hold the camera into the camera cage. That and that I am not sure of just yet, but we'll figure that bit out in a minute. Uh, this here, uh, not too sure again, maybe for the ELRS antenna, I believe. We have four standoffs. Injection molded wire protectors. Some super clean skids. Again, they look mold injected, which is really cool. So they're going to be super durable. We have the locking plate, which is two pieces of carbon with a squishy center. So when you hinge down on that frame, it's going to press out and I believe stop any movement in the arms. We have four arms with the three fingers at the front or the three fingers at the front. Really nice carbon. Feels gorgeous. The layers look super tight. Nice weaves. Yeah, not one, but two rubber mounts to go on the top plate for your lipos. We have the top plate. Which is CNC'd 
solid on the other side. I'm not sure what the benefits of that are. And we have base plate and the other part of the base plate. And the most exciting thing. <laughs> now this right here is what I'm really excited about. So this is um, a nylon mold injected cage for your camera. Now this fits all cameras from your analog to your O3, your walk snail, um, Vista, anything. Now this has got quite a few unique features to it uh, with the built-in standoffs and the rigidity of this frame and the way that everything goes together. Um, I actually got an Action 2 canopy which again is absolutely, it's spot on, there's not a, a blemish on it. The quality of everything that I've took out of this packet so far, I'm um, really impressed. Now the way that this fits together, again, very unique. It just slots into there. Look at that. <laughs> Locked in solid, one screw straight through and into the other side. And yeah, it's just, I mean, it's already locked in place. So you can imagine putting a screw in there. I think the odds of losing a mount, unless you rip it clean off, um, I don't think that you're going to be losing any more cameras. <laughs> I'm really excited. Okay, so let's get to the next stage of this build. Now, it's really important, this stage is, and I found that out once I'd watched it, so I do stress, or I can't stress enough, should I say, to watch the actual build video that Ken made, and it gives you a few really important little keys to the build, um, little things like something that I never knew how to do, was pressing, I mean fitting the press studs into the carbon itself. Now it was always a pain in the ass to me, but this has just simplified everything. So there is the fitting of the press studs, and uh, there's obviously the way that they put the whole frame together, which again, if you just watch it once, it will um, heighten your experience. And then it goes through the process of fitting the cage as well. Everything's fitted first here, just to ensure that everything does fit inside your quad. Um, even down to the, the length of your XT60 cables have got to be cut precisely, etc. But once it's done, you'll see why uh, the process needs to be followed. So this part of the plate here, you make sure is facing down. And a screw. down nearly okay <sighs> she's down that is five press studs fitted next we are going to fit a 30 mil stack so we're going to be choosing the chamfered screws okay there we go Nice and flush. There's my stack screws. Yeah, just slide straight in. Okay, let's go. Let's get them cranked down and let's have a feel of this base plate. Oh yeah, that's nice and tight that is. Hmm. 
Okay. Whew. God damn. I'll tell you what, guys. <laughs> that is tight. Jeez. Oh, yes. Look at that. I think this is going to take some time to build because I keep looking at it. <laughs> so as I was tightening down this centre screw right here, I noticed that I had a slight flex in this top pinch plate. I don't know if you can see it right there in the shadow. There you go. So I contacted Dodd and had a little chat with him just, and he's assured me that it's the way that this has been designed. So what happens is these two plates here are made of T800 carbon, which is super high strength carbon. And it's been designed to flex a tiny bit in the center here so that it grabs onto all four corners of the arms, which gives it rigidity in this direction here, which I ain't gonna lie guys, <laughs> this is the strongest frame I've felt in such a long time. Flex in both directions is absolutely zero. So yeah, uh, it's passed the flex test and just to assure you guys that this little flex in the centre is okay, don't worry. Right, let's get on to getting the standoffs on. So I'm presuming these screws here, three, four, are going to be for my standoffs. And obviously this is where your Vista sits or your VTX, whatever you choose to fit. And it's got plenty of holes here to let the air in to cool down your VTX system. Okay. So far, so good. Now, the next process is to put all your bits in, but in this little video, I'm not gonna do that. That's gonna be the next one, um, or I might add a little time lapse onto the end of this of um, the electronics going in, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna put it together as an empty frame. <clears throat> oh, this is so nice. And if you watch the build video, you'll see exactly how to fit everything inside this cage before you install it onto the frame, which makes things super simple. <laughs> Look at that. Come on. Okay, what else has got to go on? Well, I think that's it for the actual frame bit, isn't it? Let's just get the lid on a minute. Let's have a look. Is it going that way? Yeah, it goes that way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at this, that is nice, okay, so let me just put a screw in here, oh I should really build it shouldn't I, and there it is, the frame is complete and it's looking absolutely beautiful, really light. Um, it's a super lightweight frame and it boasts an all up weight with a lipo on it, a tattoo lipo, props, everything and an action two camera. It boasts 688 grams all up weight. So what I am going to do now, rather than bore you guys with a whole two hour build, I'm going to do a time lapse uh, and you can watch me put this thing together super speedy and I'll be back again with uh, my opinion of the whole build. So let's go.
fuck off. Alright guys, it is complete and I've got to say, I really enjoyed the process. Now, I did follow the, the build video, uh, which is really important. I can't stress enough, you have to follow that build video just to know how things fit. Because if you don't, things aren't going to fit. So it's really important. I'm going to drop a link in the description below. So head over, have a look at that. Make sure you're building it correctly. Um, now, although I did follow the instructions, I kind of took it off memory. So I had to backtrack on myself with things like I didn't put the skids on first. I had to take the motors off, put the skids on right at the end. Uh, and also I had an issue with the, you know, there wasn't an, uh, an ELRS antenna mount in the frame kit. So I got in touch with the guys at It's FPV and they said to me, uh, yes, apologies, we didn't let you know, they're gonna make it a little bit more clearer. They're not supplying the antenna mount with the frame kit. Now the reason being is not everybody uses that the Radio Master ELRS antenna, so if they just supply it randomly, it's gonna be an absolute waste of money. Um, so if you have got a, a Radio Master ELRS, then make sure you order one of those from the It's FPV store. If not, and you wanna to opt to do what I did, just bang a couple of cable ties on it, it's fine. It looks great, it's in the same position, it's solid, it's not gonna hit the props, it's not gonna get knocked off. I am super happy. There's a couple of things I didn't do, like putting the wire holder onto the standoff, etc. but I ain't bothered about all that. The straps are gonna hold that nice and tight to the battery, so uh, that bit of TPU went off the table. Um, but yeah, overall, absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to rip it. I'm gonna go into beta flight. I'm gonna set it all up, make sure it doesn't set on fire, make sure the motors are in the right direction, remap everything because the ESC span uh, 180 degrees. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. And if you wanna see a maiden flight of the era five inch by It's FBV, keep your eyes peeled because tomorrow, fingers crossed, I'm gonna have that review ready for you. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I have been Mamba FPV, and if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like it, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you see all of my future videos. And to the guys at It's FPV, well done. So far, you have passed all of the Mamba checkpoints. Let's go.